Good afternoon and welcome to our February update. Uh, me in uh, sunny St. Petersburg and my two friends here in Ottawa at Carleton, although they've, I understand they're going to talk a little bit about their uh, their vacations as well. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to be back. A lot of stuff going on. And uh, uh, from my end of things, I'll just update you. Uh, I have played uh, Dave with Dave Tudell. Uh, a couple of times here, I'm playing with Dave McDonald on Sunday, Jim Kelly's down, I understand Vic Farr is down, so uh, the Carlton group is kind of there, and uh, we're enjoying that, uh, we're enjoying the beautiful, beautiful weather down here in, in sunny Florida. Um, so, uh, Tyler, let's start with uh, your updates first, uh, maybe we can get into the demo days. No, thanks, John, and um, yeah, well, just a little... Uh... Update right now we're looking at about uh, plus eight outside, so you might have the nice sunny weather. We have a little bit of overcast, but we are getting the warmth finally. So there's a little bit of snow melt uh, on the course, which uh, everyone's appreciating right now. Uh, you see a lot of people out walking uh, their dogs with uh, just light jackets on. So it's um, I know we won't be staying too long, but we have a nice little <laughs> nice little uh, uh, early spring maybe uh, coming up. But uh, hey, aside from that, I just wanted to. You know, you're not the only one enjoying some nice weather right now. Uh, demo dates, yes. So we had a whole lineup over the winter time. We put together demo days with all our major uh, manufacturers. We actually had our first demo day this past Monday. Uh, Callaway Golf was here. Uh, we sold out. It was a phenomenal day. We had uh, both days in action. So I think we had about uh, close to 10 people, 10 members come and get fully fitted for, for clubs. Uh, went extremely well. We have a few more upcoming demo days. We have Taylor Made, who's here uh, next Monday. And the good news is there's actually still space to get uh, signed up for that. So anyone who's looking for some new Taylor Made product, uh, they have their new Stealth 2 driver that just got released. Uh, we have still some space in our Taylor Made fitting day. Uh, the following week, um, February 27th, we have Cobra, who's going to be here. Uh, they have all their new lineup as well. Still space to sign up for Cobra. And then uh, looking a little bit more forward, uh, in early April, April 3rd, we have uh, Cleveland and Shrixon, who's going to be here. So uh, it's pretty exciting because like like you, John, like me, like Cameron, we all love, uh, we're like kids in candy shops, right? When, when the new product comes, we just, uh, we want to get our hands on it, we want to test it out. So this is a chance for, for all our members over the winter time to test out all the new products that's being launched. So we encourage them all. To come. There's no commitment. You don't have to worry about uh, placing orders. Let's just come on out and, and enjoy the benefit of having the products here. Well, I look forward to my fitting when I get there. That's for sure. Uh, that'll be sometime in April. Yep. It's pretty awesome to see, uh, you know, John Rom win on, on TV. And then you can literally come by and try the same brand new driver uh, right here at the club the next day. It's, it's pretty neat. Not every sport you can do that. Can I have a swing too? Uh, yeah, you might be in traction afterwards, John, but we can certainly try. We'll, we'll do our best, okay? <laughs> um, hey, golf leagues, how are they going? Yeah, no, they're going extremely well. Um, believe it or not, we're already into week 10 of our league, so we're uh, we're past the halfway point. Uh, we, we've, we've had members show up every, every week and, and taking full advantage. We have uh, uh, in the men's it's been pretty exciting. We had a, a good run with uh, Mike McLaughlin uh, winning the last couple of weeks. So he's still close to the top of the leaderboard, um, playing really, really well. Uh, Lori Ridgeway in the in the ladies section uh, has been playing very steady golf. And, uh, you know, every week we, we, we are showcasing a different golf course. So on our track, man, and just to remind the members, we have over 150 golf courses you can play up in our simulator. We've picked out the top 16 uh, that we felt were, you know, a good variety of challenge and fun uh, for our league. But but there's a, over 150 courses you can play, and and the league's going phenomenal. So it's, it's a great first year for the league, and uh, we're very very proud of it. That's super. I really that's amazing. Um, can you give us a product update? Uh, I know you got some new product in. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Like, uh, so Gary and Kisa are, are working hard in the pro shop. Uh, we kind of say every day is like Christmas because we're getting all these new boxes coming in and we're opening all these new products. 
so we're starting, everything's starting to trickle in. So February is the month that, uh, you know, with our buying group, we can get the products much earlier now. So we're not waiting till April or May for our deliveries. We're getting them in February and March and, and we're opening up all, of new, uh, all the new inventories from now. So just the other day, we had about, you know, 40 pairs of Hoodjoy shoes show up on our doorstep. But the day before that, we had all our Adidas shoes show up. Our new clothing is coming in, our new hats, our accessories. So it's kind of all put in place. Uh, we're going to see these deliveries right through the middle of March. And uh, it's kind of exciting because we're opening up all the new stuff, new golf bags. Um, well, the new Callaway products showing up now. We've got the new Paradigm driver, the new Paradigm uh, islands are, are in the shop. So it's, uh, it's like being a, a, being a candy store, you know. The only problem is I want I want to take it all for myself, but I say no, no. Never. <laughs> Well, I hope some of the people that are listening to this uh, will drop by and take a look because it's uh, uh, that, that's really good. And I know our prices are very, very competitive. I, I mean, I'm down here. I go to the PGA Superstore, and I tell you, I, I rarely, if ever, buy anything there unless it's a really dirt cheap sale because I know I get it cheaper back home. You think? With the uh, down being down here, you you get a deal, you don't really in the end. And when you're paying with Canadian dollars, uh, and it's the same price as the American stuff, you know that you're getting a much better deal. So, yeah, and and I know our club, uh, it, it gives good deals on just about everything we sell. Well, and that, that's that's right, John. And you know, we 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 do have member pricing for uh, for uh, all our hard goods and and our clothing as well. And um, and you know, we we. We really encourage members to, you know, if, if there's something that, you know, they're interested in, even if we don't have it in stock, we, we know our supply chain, uh, all our suppliers really well. We can usually get stuff in pretty quickly for members. Great. Hey, tell me about your trip. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Kevin and I actually, hey, so this is, uh, uh, I think, a long-awaited uh, trip for both of us after, uh, obviously, many years of, uh covid restrictions and just the uncertainty of all travel we actually both were able to um take alternating weeks and and get away so i i was only last week i i made a visit to uh beautiful uh punta cana dominican republic and uh and then cameron was in jamaica for a week so we'll talk about that in a minute i understand so that's great great news cameron uh over to you i know we had some Pretty successful nights. Let's talk about some of them. Uh, casino night. Yeah, we did. And um, thanks to all the members who attended casino night. And we had a great four-course meal for Valentine's Day. And it's nice to do some different things, right? And offer some some gameplay, a little bit different activity at the club. Obviously, our, our first winter being open. So um, there, there are a lot of new ideas. And attendance is it's good in some. It's okay in some. And, you know, we, we appreciate the support. Um, we, we really expect that it will grow into years two and three, and we'll start to see more coming. Uh, but to have close to 50 for a casino night was, was excellent. And wow, you had other... 50 on casino night. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And a few less for Valentine's Day, but there was tremendous live music there, and um, those had a great time. So it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, and we have uh, some upcoming events in, in March to look forward to as well. That's great. Yeah, it's St. Pat's Day. I hear you got some something coming up there. Yeah, exactly. So please save the date for St. Patrick's Day. It's on Friday, March the, the 17th. Um, and we'll have some more information uh, coming out for registration for that. And we just uh, emailed out our ladies' luncheon uh, for all the women on March the 19th. They're welcome and encouraged to email Chelsea, and that'll be a great get together. That's a good, long-standing tradition uh, for the women of our club. That'll be. Yeah, uh, they're having a good meal there, a Mediterranean meal. You're right up my alley with that one. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And on St. Pat's Day, I'm sure you're going to have the corned beef and cabbage going. So that's great too. I mean, that's a uh, that's a, a a long tradition as well. Um, now I understand that uh, you're looking. You're, you got some committees going, um, spring cleanup and things of that nature. Can you uh, enlighten us on that? Exactly. The house committee's been tremendous. They've been very active. A lot of capital project planning, but we're also looking at some of the 
uh, we have useful projects and we will plan for another rake day that's been always popular on the course and um, something that I, I don't think has been focused on as much, which we'd love to do a really good spring cleanup of the clubhouse. So we'll send out um, some information on that and all are encouraged. They can reach out to myself, uh, email free, um, if you're interested in, in helping with the spring cleanup of the clubhouse. Well, will this be a, like a one day event or is it going to be like uh, groups coming in on different days or how did you envision this happening? No, I think with the, the social dynamic, um, get a, a good group together on one day. And I think we can really make a, a good good dent in some of our storage areas. It'll be great to um, uh, organize a little bit going going into the season. And the managers will be super involved as well. To, to help. All right. Now, tell me about your trip to Jamaica. And I know we saw some clips on Facebook. Uh, how did that all happen? No, it was an you know, unbelievable story. Like like Tyler mentioned, it's been it's been a long time. It's probably been four years even being on a flight. So it was nice to get away again and you know planned a, a probably a trip that wasn't golf focused and was up in the academy one day and ran into uh, Erica and Gary Chamberlain and had a good chat and realized that go figure they were gonna be down at the same resort. Um, offset by just one day, they were down there with uh, little Haley, um, their baby, and Kyle Godman was down as well. So saw them a little bit at the resort. Um, what a coincidence! Nice to connect with members, even though it wasn't planned. And we, uh, as a result, we said, "Well, let's let's look at the golf courses, right?" So I changed my mindset a little bit. Said, "Well, let's sneak in one golf game." So we played trial, which is a really nice uh, private facility um tremendous golf course they've had the world cup there in the i believe in the 90s um great course uh historic just did some renovations a few years ago so it was a thrill to play and we had uh some of the locals watching erica play were, were pretty neat um they weren't sure she hit it that far and she stepped up and made an eagle on the back nine and it was it was pretty awesome so we had uh we had a fantastic day playing trial club and I highly recommend that and like we always say to the members that are traveling if you're you're in the islands or you're, you're in a new area we're happy to reach out to the clubs if you'd like to play a bucket list game uh, and i can uh, do our best to call uh, the directors of golf and the general managers to try to set up a bucket list event trial absolutely was one that i'll remember for a long time well that's great you know i have my own story like that uh, my wife and i were visiting Kauai. Uh, i think it was about 2015 and uh, we're in a place called Princeville, which is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, as far away as you can get from civilization as possible. And we're walking by this little village uh, in Princeville, and there's uh, some shops, and I hear my name, John, John. So I turn around, like, who the heck, you know, John, look over in the restaurant that I'm watching, it's Mike White and his wife. <laughs> right? Talk about a coincidence meeting out in the middle of the Pacific. Anyway, Mike was there enjoying Kauai as well. It's a beautiful island. We were visiting at, at our time at our timeshare, which was a gorgeous timeshare, and it's a gorgeous island. Anyway, we had a good time. We never got a chance to play golf, but we had dinner and uh that night and uh we enjoyed uh meeting him and uh but there you go, it happens. Gentlemen um thank you very much for the update and uh look forward to uh some of the events that are going to happen and pretty soon we're going to start some of these capital projects up again and uh we'll be golfing again i'm it's only two months away till i'm get back and usually there's but well, may 1st is not that far off so and the way your weather is going looks like it's uh looks like it's a lot going to, going to melt before there so let's keep our fingers crossed that everything looks okay and uh, we'll be able to get back on track as quickly as possible Thank well, 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 thanks John and I, I just want to say one more thing um uh, Carlton after a few years off we're actually going back to the uh, golf Expo this year oh okay. and, um, yeah so this year um the golf Expo I'm sure a lot of members have already started seeing advertisements online or on on television. Uh, it's uh, March 3rd and 4th. It's at the EY Center. And uh, Carlton will be setting up the booth. Uh, we're going to be participating there. So I'm going to be there. Um, I might actually be doing a little bit more than just participating. They've asked, uh, they've asked me to uh, to do a little bit, uh, um, get more involved. So, so we're, we're pretty excited with that. And um, 
Yeah, so we're going to be uh, promoting the club there. We're going to be talking, you know, certainly talking about membership at the club uh, and what we offer. So um, it's going to be a great, uh, great weekend for us. Thank you very much. And that's a good thing. I forgot to mention that the Golf Expo. Um, and uh, I know I've been at them and hopefully we'll we'll get, get some uh, uh, good results from that. Gentlemen, thanks a lot. Until next month, uh, have a have a, a good uh, good month and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Talk to you soon. Take care.